while Matthew is working on this, he's got he's got some intense action going on here, so I'll <sighs> remind everyone how to engage with the stream. I know this is a pretty intense game, so you've probably forgotten how to do it. It's a tough idea. I know. You can engage with the stream down there in the chat by sending messages of hope and happiness and light trolling no. uh, in the chat. <laughs> or tell Shoot! Us, or tell us how your Tuesday has been relative to I've this. I've got one task! It should be great. Oh, your, and I hear them. Your Tuesday. No! I turned, I had a degree left! I, I know. Hello, internet. Welcome to game. Uh. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live. You thought we were late, but we had actually already started, just hadn't turned on the live stream, uh, apparently. Oh no. Hey guys. I'm so dead. We're back to FNAF today. Kind of. We're also back to Hello Neighbor, because I'm going to end up giving up on FNAF here. We're going to we're gonna try and beat FNAF, but if it gets just too rage-inducing, uh, we're going to switch over to Hello Neighbor. We really, really want to get through this last stupid night of Five Nights at Freddy's, but... If it doesn't happen, there's always some nice neighborly action to be had. Ugh. Welcome, guys, to this Wednesday? You Tuesday? can tell that I'm serious. It's only Tuesday, isn't it? On. It's, only Tuesday. It's, only, it's only Tuesday, you guys. I know. I feel Ugh. the same way. But hey, you're here together with us, and no one is more upset right now than Matthew. Ugh. So you can, you can rest assured that if your day has been bad, Matthew is feeling it. Right there, he's right there in <gasps> the unpleasant, super unhappy zone right now in his little headphones. Oh my god! Just it's locked so in awful. his own prison of torture. It's, it's gonna so be awful. great. I'm just hanging out at 120 degrees. It is the worst. It's getting hot. It's a. It is literally 120 degrees inside your mouth. Actually, that would be really unsafe. I hope it is not 120 degrees inside your mouth. But. Hey you guys, welcome to Tuesday edition. As you can see, we've already started in. Matthew didn't want to waste any time. Oh. Getting right down to business in the old FNAF. He's got his Headley phones on, I so stuff. I, I know can't where it's coming from, though. I can't hear stuff. He can. Um, so I'm gonna support from the outside. We're all gonna cheerlead together. And by cheerlead I mean lightly troll. Go, go! Uh, and then hopefully we'll make it through really fast ah. and be able to move on to some Hello Neighbor as well today. That would be so, great. Wait. It would be great. It would be great. You're reverting to your to your childhood speech problem. I am. Oh man, this you know it's you know it's intense. Uh, so while Matthew is working on this, he's got he's got some intense action going on here. So I'll ah. remind everyone how to engage with the stream. I know this is a pretty intense game, so you've probably forgotten how to do it. It's a tough idea. I know. You can engage with the stream down there in the chat by sending messages of hope and happiness and light trolling no. uh, in the chat. <laughs> or, tell Shoot. Us, or tell us how your Tuesday has been relative to I've this. I've got one task! It should be great. Oh, your, and I hear them. Your Tuesday. No! I turned, I had a degree left! I... I know. It was at okay. 119! And I heard the moo... So, as a fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, Scott's actually- 120 is when you pass out! Yeah, I know. I was at 119! Yeah. Scott's actually made a couple of updates it to this game. It was the last task. In the last 48 hours, Scott's actually updated the game, what, three times? He's done it twice <sighs> just today. <sighs> which has actually, we think, uh, included making this last night significantly harder than it originally was. So actually, if you've seen this last night- I had night, it! I had it! If you've seen other people play this last night- I had one degree left before I passed out, Stephanie! You're probably seeing a lot more difficulty than you've seen on other streams or other videos. Um, and it's not because Matthew is bad at these games. Matthew's actually really good at these games. Um, but there have been a few updates, and we actually think it's been tweaked to be made harder. Fun fact, uh, I did some research. There used to be a, a really easy exploit that you could use that people are like, I can't believe this works. All I have to do is put the audio in one corner, and I look in the other corner, and nothing happens the entire game. It, it was good for them. It doesn't good, work good, anymore. It Good for them. That exploit, that loophole has Not been thing. closed. I had one degree, right? We all saw it. It was at 119. Right? Right? We all thank you. Do you use the silent fan at all? No. By any chance? Okay. No. People silent have fan. suggested using silent the silent fan. Silent fan has got to be useless. 
I think it just slows the progression of heat. Yeah, it does. It slows the Not rise. Worth it. I got. I got to distract him with the audio. Okay. Ah! I, I that one my thing. Yeah, I, I know. What? I know. Nothing. I can't hear right? a thing. One degree. Also, this amp the, the right? sound. That's all I needed. Now. So anyway, Matthew. Oh, wait, shoot. Matthew's working with surround sound. Uh, meanwhile, you can also hit us up on the twits. Use hashtag JT Live. Send words of support, so close. messages of relief. I was so close. To add Matt Pat GT. Add Cordy Patrick. I hear it. Hashtag GT Live. You can do it. In other news, I was inadvertently, oh, no, I'm like inadvertently a walking billboard for YouTube today. This was not intentional. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I did, this was the thing that was clean this morning, and this was the thing that was clean this morning, and so both of them ended up getting used. I, this is not a paid promotion for YouTube as why, much why as it incredibly looks like it why today. Why you're not going to be in next year's YouTube Rewind? Mm -hmm. Because I already before. got all my merch. What else do I need? It's not like they, they don't pay for YouTube Rewind, so As ever. you should just get the swag and, and get out of there, man. Um, so yeah, all right, let's 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 concentrate here. Concentrate. Okay. Wait, ah, uh, shoot. I'm gonna say hi in the chat. Oh, that last run was perfect. How far not, were you? Oh, I had one left. I, I was literally on the... Oh, that sucks. Yeah. All right, well, hey, you got that far. You know you can get really far. So you're close. Uh, nah, it was, it, was, it was the miraculous run, Stephanie. Keela says, don't give up, Mr. Patrick. Hey. Ooh, I'm a Mr. Mir Patrick. Miracles come uh, in twos. Uh, why is the chat flooding, says I don't uh, know CT. what side you're on, Springtrap. I don't know. Neither do I, because I can't hear His voice anything. was literally... Someone on the right. Someone on the left. Lisa Adams. Oh, says, there's sounds everywhere. Lisa Adams says, just react to someone else who did the ending. It's okay. No. <laughs> Define create one says you can do it, Matt. Uh, and Aiden Petrosky and La Dragon Lady XD says hashtag not spawn. Yeah. Hashtag not, hashtag not spawn by YouTube. Oh, I'm I'm so dead. Like literally, uh huh. Uh, Goth Tinkerbell says, You can do it, Matt Pat. And Edgar Sellers says, Go, Matt. Swagatron also says, Hi. No. No. Oh, this has been rough. Josh and Susie Larson encourage you to have some determination. This night has been brutal. Oh, get out of here. Leave me alone. I gotta turn it on. Slowly dying of heat exhaustion. True story. I hadn't seen Matthew for a few hours during live stream uh, before the live stream, but I talked to him like you know shortly before we came in here, and he, I think he's been so fixated on this game today, and the fact that he has to get through a night that he walked up to me and he literally was like, "Oh, what have you been doing tonight?" And I'm like, "What are you even talking about? So You're true. just like so fixated on I like am. Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, geez, come on." I'm really. I'm really fixated He's on get, it right now. He was now. getting in the zone even before we came in here. Come on. I heard something on the left. Joshua Boyle says, cannot wait for Star Wars Friday. Yes, that's going to be awesome. We already have our tickets. Do you have your Star Wars tickets? So hot. So hot. <laughs> so warm. I've heard, heard it's warm. I've heard, heard it's a little steamy up in there. Or it's a little hotsy totsy. Oh look, we're sub 100 degrees. Oh no, just kidding. Yeah, I, Darn it. I'm trying to keep it. Come uh, on, man. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, I heard something on the left. Dude. So yeah. So hot. So yeah, do you have your Star Wars tickets? We got ours. Uh, we're actually like going randomly in the middle of the day on Friday. It's it's. I don't know. It's a, it's a bit so, weird. It's not like a usual movie going time. So hot! Just get like randomly eating really heavily buttered popcorn at two in the afternoon. I'm okay with it, but um. I hear it on the left. Yep. Oh, it's totally on the left. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. 
Turn on the fan. Turn on the right. Turn on the fan. Turn on the right again. Oh, come on. Oh, it's it's heating up so fast. People are saying you see it. Oh! oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Here, listen to the ending. Yeah, I'm hoping. Okay. You played right into Yes! The it's the ending, okay. Did you really think that this job just Wait, fell out of the sky for you? No. This was a gift for us. Oh, it's on the you TV. Can hear it. You gathered yeah. them all together in one place. Just like he asked you to. All of those little souls in one place. Just for us. A gift. Now we can do what we were created to do. Oh, they're gonna scoop them all! And be complete. Dun got scooped! I will make you proud, Daddy. Oh, baby. Watch. Listen. Like, like fresh ice cream. And be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. Huh. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. Who did he call him? You Elizabeth. are not here to receive a gift. Nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, this is Henry's voice although you have it. indeed been called. You have all been called here, into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection, and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze into with no twi- prize. Yeah. Sounds like the Twilight Zone. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless That's circles, funny. Are- chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, That's- always seeming so near, huh. yet somehow out of reach. Yeah, you will. But you will never find them. Secluded. None of you will. This is where your story ends. Huh. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Huh. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a huh. feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. Turn on the I fan! Nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still, and give up your spirits. Hold it. They don't belong to you. Hold it. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more, waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. <laughs> Don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. <laughs> oh, that's Dark, amazing! If you can hear me, Such a good I life. knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms. The way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest for you and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends for all of us in communication. In hot. So wow. Got, o- got over 120 degrees and I didn't pass out. What a burning. Oh, oh wait. Congratulations on completing your work week. We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for sure your participation. You there is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us. Huh. Huh. Oh, man. (sighs) There's a special place in heck for you. (laughs) Wow. 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 Okay, wait. William Afton. There's Kellen. Molten Freddy. As Molten Freddy. Tutorial unit, which is just like hand unit. I think it's the same voice, too. Cassette man. Not oh, to be man. confused with phone guy. Oh, man. 
So that's it. I like the music. Oh, the testers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That's, funny. that's so sweet. <laughs> Only two testers. They must be really good at these games at this point. Oh my gosh, like, they like, must be pro. Either that or they're like, no, not anymore. Yeah, this never give is, me this game. This game is dedicated to the fans. It's been a pleasure making games for you. Huh. He's not done. Oh, no. Not by any means. But, it, I mean, that, that pretty much solidifies it. Like... It's kind of... Yeah, the story's kind of wrapped up, it's actually. Kinda, it's kinda, first off, live stream one, they're all getting together to get burned. Good job. Yeah. Nicely done. I knew it. <sighs> so good. That's awesome. Hmm. Just a minute. Oh, wait. Slow fade. Slow okay. Fade. Slow fade. Oh, we almost hit 100,000. Almost. Almost made it. Should have used those tokens. I should have used right? those final tokens. I wanted to save them just in case. Huh. Certificate of completion. We didn't get the lore master ending. What's lore master entail? The other one that they were talking about in the chat last time. What do we need? For uh, I, think we, uh, I think the only thing we're missing for it is actually the third... Candy bot? candy bot story. Really? It's, it's I think so. on the candy bot stories? Uh, well, it's it's candy bot, and it's uh, a couple of the other ones. But huh. I think we had the other ones. Really? Yeah, I think so. So I think there are some on the other side, a couple on the other side, or something like that. But hey, well, I'm sure, completed it. Well, I'm sure there, Thank you. Okay. I'm sure there's one that it, it's it's if you go bankrupt, right? I'm sure if you go over your spending limit, that's yeah. gonna be one. Yeah, like business lore, failure. Or lore keeper. I, I feel bad about not having lore keeper. Ah, it's fine. We're good. Uh, so wait, real quick. I mean, so we beat it, which is good. We that we beat the salvage run. Yeah. Real quick, I, I think there's a, a couple things worth mentioning there. One, it, I like. At first, I'm like, why are they showing us the map that we were just playing? But yeah. But it's it's reinforcing the idea that the system of ventilation or whatever you're kind of trapping them in is completely separate from the pizzeria itself. Yeah, it's, it has it, nothing to do with it. It took me a while to be like, why are they showing the map again? Why are they showing the map again? But it's exactly what Henry says. And again, we yeah. it's Henry because we know the voice from the insanity ending. That it's it was all a plot to lure them back, salvage them, lock them in the thing. Yeah. And then just finish him off. At the end and of then the just week. light the furnace. Although they could have done that earlier in the week, I, I, I didn't right? have to go Come through on. Saturday, friend. Like, let let it be clear, I could have done that Friday. You could have set fire at any point. Uh, he says, he says, I had an escape plan for you, but you don't want it, which reinforces the idea that this is Michael yep. playing, and that I'm just going down in flames with the rest of my family. Yep. Um, that's really interesting. Also, right uh, going, also going back. So on the GT Live plate uh, on the GT Live channel, uh, it's uploaded right the, when we got the insanity ending from yesterday. Yep. It's, so it's up there. It's it's archived on the GT Live archive channel it's right now. Top link in it's, the description. Wow, it's uh, even the top link in the description. How so convenient. we got the insanity ending. After we got the insanity ending, I I I watched it again after the stream. Uh, oh, and by the way, sorry that we ended up not being able to do a live stream from Jumanji last night. We intended to, but yeah. traffic was so bad, we got there literally like five minutes before the movie started. Not even. It was like 7.28, and the movie started at 7.30, and we were still like running from the parking lot. Yeah, so like so. we literally like sprinted down the red carpet, and then that was it. Yeah. But um, <laughs> So sorry, we didn't have a chance to but like we, actually live stream We that. will be posting some fun pictures from it. But last night, I did watch the Insanity ending again, and it's interesting. So they... Explain how the scooper works, right? Yeah. And one of the bullet points, I think it was on the scooper blueprint, says if you turn up the heat, like, it, it starts to, the effects of the scooper degrade with heat, which is why you're able to kind of, like, destroy them with fire. Yeah. But also doesn't quite match up with Five Nights at Freddy's 3, where Fazbear Fright was set fire to. Right. So technically Springtrap should have died in that fire. He should have. Because it was burned. Just saying. But, but he had an escape route where he didn't in this one. Well, right. did he have an escape no, route? No, he didn't. He didn't. Springtrap no. did. Springtrap's level of <coughs> ability. Springtrap is kind of confusing. 
I think I the think whole thing written, is kind of confusing. I think written wise, that's why they're like, we're gonna lock you all in here. Yeah, so that way he can't fire escape. Fire last time. But yeah, we've tried fire before. <laughs> this time though, the fire is absolutely really gonna work. Mean it. So Henry's daughter is the puppet. It's interesting. Yeah. Henry's daughter doesn't appear to be the blonde girl from the fruity maze because again they showed that cutscene there from uh, yeah, the, the puppet. Yeah, it looks and she's, like a different girl. She's got dark hair. Like, yeah. it's, it's, she's got, she's a brunette. It's weird. Um, so that's really interesting. Uh, most epic closing line ever of saying, hey, there's a pit in hell for you. That's yeah, pretty geez, epic. Yeah, jeez, yikes. Uh, which is obviously <laughs> referring to William Afton uh, and the fact that Henry, not baby. He, even, he even calls him, no, not baby. <laughs> Jason, jeez. He even calls them old friends. Yeah. So, like, that establishes that they were connected at some point. Yeah. Which also plays into the insanity ending, where at some point, William came up with something that, like, you know... Version one was him dressing up as the animatronics and, and killing kids. But then he says, like, oh, you found a new way of doing it, yeah. which is the fun time animatronics, which secures yep. that sister location happened after the fact. Yep, and that's the scooping, and that's... Or that's the... The... the kidnapping kids in the in the actual animatronics. So, so there's a couple, I mean, so there's a couple weird lingering things to all of this, which is, like, the Midnight Motorist minigame still doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't, I, I need to think about, like, if right. I were, if I'm gonna do a theory about this game, which I will, but the, yeah. the things that immediately come to mind are the, the Midnight Motorist game. Yep. And also what's in the box. Because the, from FNAF 3, like the big, whoa, all the, something the, should be left for point, now. Because at this point, this story, like, this was clearly this is a this capstone is to this story, and, and these guys are destroyed. We should have an answer to that by now, right? Right. We, at this point... There should be some should, way to figure it out. And it's also interesting, so I was listening to the CandyBot stories, because I've, I've been thinking about this, and I've been, like Steph said, I've been fascinated with this game. Um... <laughs> Ob obsessive he thinks that it's 2 a.m. and we're in a pizzeria. Uh, Great. <laughs> you really want to live with someone like that. But it's it's interesting because the candy bot stories all refer. We've all talked about this, where it's like five things going into one thing, right? It's it's the five kittens that become uh, put together to be eaten by the snake or whatever. It's the five keys that get melted into one key. It's the five orphans that get sewn together to be put in one casket. In each, in each of the stories, well, two out of the three stories, there's also this recurring reference to a box. Mm -hmm. It's five things put yeah. into one box. Yeah. And it's it's a coffin. It's a, the key one doesn't work, but the kittens are put into a box. Yeah. It, they're taken out of a box, they're put in a box. So like... There's a lot of box. There's a lot of boxes. There's a lot of boxing. Which makes me wonder if that in any way kind of points to what's inside the box. Yeah. The Midnight Motorist game, there's just not a lot of... There's a lot there, but not a lot that connects to literally anything else. There's the mound that might relate to Twisted Ones, maybe, yeah. but that's really about it. Like, there's a purple car, kind of, that might relate to the purple car from FNAF 2. Right, maybe, maybe. But right. also, like, things are being retconned where it's save her instead of save him. So, like, there's a lot yeah, to it. So, now that we, so it's picking apart the inconsistencies and, uh, to figure out what actually yeah, should like, be in that box. Yeah, now it becomes pulling at the threads and looking at the details. So, like, obviously, yeah. a lot has been wrapped up. A lot of the stuff about who all these characters are. We could probably put together a fairly robust timeline at this point, timeline of events. I think this one answers a lot of. Um, we yeah. know it's in Utah now, which connects it potentially to the books even more. We know Henry's officially a character now, which yeah. also connects it to the books in a lot of ways, but in different ways, which is always confusing. So it's, it's interesting. Um, but there you go. There it is, Did guys. It. I feel accomplished. Right? Yeah. Nicely done. So there's three more. So there's officially three more. We can look into what they are. All right. We'll see. I think we should we move on to Did we see Vancouver. everything? Did we accomplish, like, outside of that? I think there's one other ending to see. Is Lore Keeper just CandyBot? Chris, do you know? I know you were looking at this earlier, so no, that way I No, it's not just CandyBot. It's also, we. so we've beaten the, um... Salvage. So, no, we've beaten the, uh, the, the other two, like, pinball-type minigames. Like the, um... Yeah, we beat maze. Midnight Motorist yeah. and we got the maze. So those are two that go into it, and then I think CandyBot is the third. 
and, and puppet. And puppet, which we've done. We've done so, puppet. So we're just missing a candy bot? We're so you missing need three literally candy bot stories to do it? one candy bot yeah, story. So okay, story. here, real real quick. Oh my god. I know. But, but there could be a, a piece of lore we don't know about. Yeah. Okay. Also, well, don't you need to be it after you get lore master? I don't know. For the gravestone ending? I think Wait, what? To get what the ending? ending you need to have oh my gosh, wait, spoilers! Wait, what, what, Jeez, what, what's Chris. this about well, we're not gravestone? Tell you what it wait, is. what's not gravestones? Tell you what it is. We I want great. I want gra That seems important. What are you talking about? Here, I'm gonna look this up after <laughs> the stream. Here, it's right. the last ending. Okay, there's a. Okay, here, I'm gonna play Candy Bot. Okay. I have 10 tokens. Let's see if Let's we can get it. Let's run through it. See if we can get the last story. If cuz at this point we have everything else. Yeah. We we got I know we have everything. We got Midnight Motorist. We got I'm just going to throw Fruity this Mace. out there. Maybe yeah. if you clean and polish him, he's just going to be more likely to tell you. That must story. that must be it. it. Do we need to play test the puppet? No, we don't. More? No, as long as we've gotten that one thing from the puppet, that's it. Cuz we can still play him unlike the other ones. We can No, I think we're good. All right. Here clean I'll and do, polish him. Okay. I am candy yeah. Maybe Jason's right. Get your candy. Here we go. I have candy all day. Every day. Candy, candy, candy. Candy, candy, So we'll try candy. ten times. If this doesn't work, I'll just figure it out. All right. Maybe we can start, like, tomorrow's stream or something with. Now I will tell just you. Wait, 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 here it is. A little boy. He had a red snake that he kept in a metal cage, whose hunger could not be satisfied. One day, the boy found five baby kittens outside his house. He brought them inside and kept them in a shoebox. He knew that the snake might kill them, but could not bring himself to get rid of the snake. He knew that if he chose one kitten to feed to the snake, it might be satisfied. But he could not choose. So, he went to bed, Worth leaving the cage open. The snake went to the shoebox, chose a kitten at random, and ate it. After five nights had gone by, the boy was full of regret, and cut snake open. He pieced the remains together, and put the kitten back into the shoebox. Oh my god! He, he cut the snake open! He was oh, filled with regret! Perfect! Oh, it's terrible! Great story, oh Candy Bot! Yeah! <laughs> that was awful! Man, what oh a terrible god. pet owner! You, you just like suck! Like, oh, I, I gotta feed. Why don't you buy it like some mice or something? Uh. So, wait, that should be our. So, we've, at this point, in all of our playthroughs of this game, we've gotten all three Candy Bot stuff. Yes. Right? Okay. So, presumably, that should get. According to Chris, making his hopefully. life. Hopefully, that should. Here, so if I exit. Like he said, though, we may have missed something, but those are the ones we're aware of. That's the ones you're aware of. Okay. So, if I go. If I exit and just restart it, do you think? Maybe. Let's try it. Hmm. Shoot! No! Ah! There's nothing, there's nothing. I should see it here, right? Yeah. Yeah, you probably need to beat it again. Yeah, you probably should beat it again. Oh, I ain't doing that. <laughs> not, not on the live stream, at least. I'll do it afterward. Now that I've beaten it, I can look into the stuff that I've been kind of purposely avoiding for spoiler purposes. Yeah. Um, I'll see what I can look into for a uh, lore keeper and what other, how you unlock the other two yeah. endings or whatever. I don't know what the other two are. I think, I think you're right about the bankruptcy thing. I, I, I think, think your bankruptcy must be an easy one to get. Yeah. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of interest. Like, it's probably just like comedic more than anything else. Yeah. And then Jason's giving me a thumbs up. Is that okay. correct? Yeah. Yes. And then what's the last one? Do you know? Uh, I believe it's linked with the last ending. So it's lore, bankruptcy, and then I believe the last ending. Hmm. Chris, do you know? If so if I get lore get keeper, the then I get ending? the graves. The other one? I get graves. I'm gonna look okay. at graves. You don't. They don't know. Well, okay. great. They, they that's our crack research team right there, ladies All right. and gentlemen. Uh, hey, did your <laughs> yeah, audio work amazing. today? Yeah, the audio worked. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, okay. So oh, man, one of the basic functions. Audio and visual, the two things that go into the live stream. Both of them are working today. Or the production. Oh my gosh, that's clap and a half for you. That was such way a good Way to produce. Clap and a half. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through the entire FNAF journey, not just FNAF 6, but literally every step along the way. We did it together, guys. We did it. Hold hands. Like YouTube rewind. We overcame, we came, we, overcame. we saw, we overcame injustice. 
animatronics with the power of fidget spinners. If you want to see our previous live streams covering FNAF, specifically some FNAF-themed fan games, t -Juck in particular, the king of all FNAF fan games, well then click the box to the left, and make sure you subscribe, because I guarantee there will be more Scott Coffin action happening in the near future. He's not done. Subscribe, guys.